students and welcome to Pre-K with Miss K mini lesson. Today I am joined by Mr. Bear. Today we are going to talk about something super awesome. I bet it's a word you've never heard of before. Let's see, it's spelled F-E-N. What is a fen? Have you heard of that word? Guess what? Not only are we going to learn what a fen is, we are going on a mini field trip to a real fen. The best thing about a fen is that we are gonna be able to jump on it and it feels almost like a waterbed. So stay tuned. We're gonna give you a little background information first for a couple minutes and then we're going on a field trip. How's that sound? Thumbs up? Let's get started. So we're gonna to learn today. What's a question? What is a fen. What is a fen? Well, guess what? A fen is one of the four kinds of wetland. If you want to know what a wetland is, a wetland is where water covers the soil or near the surface of the soil for either most of the year or for part of the year. The four different types of wetlands are a fen, marsh, swamp, and a bog. There's a marsh that's mostly dominated by grass. There's a swamp that's dominated by forest. And then there's bog and a fen. Guess what? A bog and a fen are pretty similar. A bog and a fen both have peat, P-E-A-T. That means dead plant material that's accumulated, like moss. Maybe you've heard of the word moss before. The difference between the bog and the fen though is that the fen has alkaline or pH neutral peat. So that means that it's not acidic, it's alkaline or it's pH neutral. So that's the difference between a fen and a bog. One super interesting fact about a fen is it's one of the rarest natural communities in the whole United States. This special fen that we're gonna go on a mini field trip to has a really cool name. It's called a calcareous fen. A calcareous fen is characterized by a non-acidic peat that we just talked about, and it's dependent on a constant supply of cold, oxygen-poor groundwater. So there's not a lot of oxygen in that groundwater, but the groundwater is rich in calcium and magnesium bicarbonate. And that's what gives it its pH neutral or alkaline content, water content. It has a slight slope, and I'll put a chart up for you. There's a slight slope where the vegetative mat is on top of that groundwater discharge, and that's when we can jump on it like a waterbed. You never fall in. You can jump and jump and jump and you won't fall through. The highest known density of calcareous fens is on the Prairie Couteau in Northeast South Dakota. A really cool fact about fens is that there are special plants that grow there. There are plants like green orchids, fringe gentians that are purple flowers, and cotton grass that looks like cotton. There are even native butterflies that aren't seen anywhere else that you can find on these calcareous fens. So about every five years, they also do a controlled burn or they set fire to certain parts of the fen to get rid of all the old material and the old plant material. Are you ready to go on our field trip? Let's go jump on the fen. Here we go, we're at the fen. Let's go jumping. Woo! It's moving. And there's the water. Let me hear you splash it. Whoa! Jump, jump! Whoa! And guess what? The water under Mr. Bear is about 15 feet deep. Jump! Bye from the fen.